Hi Kate, hi everyone, this is Ben Jones with Data Literacy. I'm excited to partner with Kate this week to sponsor the Dedicated Weekly Challenge. This week's challenge is all about coming up with common blunders and mistakes that we all make when we work with data from time to time. Data is not perfect, we're not perfect, and it's so easy to get it wrong and a big part of being highly data literate. Just like with grammar, knowing how to get the grammar right and knowing what kinds of mistakes, maybe if you leave, it, leave out a comma here or there, it totally changes the meaning of the sentence, right? So same thing with data, very easy to get it wrong. And so, um, you know, what I would like to do is give away a free signed copy to someone who participates this time. And the book that I just wrote is called Avoiding Data Pitfalls. It'll be coming out. So I'll give away a signed copy of this. Now this book goes into seven different categories of pitfalls that I've myself fallen into, as well as I've seen many others as well. Things like mathematical miscues, which is all about how we calculate data, or statistical slip-ups, which has to do with the comparisons we make that may or may not be valid. Um, and uh, even like graphical gaps, which is all about visualizing data in ways that might be confusing or misleading. So that's what the book is all about, and I'm happy, like I said, to give away a free copy of this book. It should start shipping in another couple weeks now, and it was a fun one for me to write. It took about five years on and off over the course of that time to get it done, so I hope you like it. And yeah, I'm excited to see what you come up with. I don't think I covered all of the possible pitfalls. I think there's probably many, many others, and I'd like to hear what you all think about that. Okay, so best of luck on the challenge, best of luck winning the book, and uh, hopefully if you don't win it, you buy it, and you like it, and I'd love to have a conversation with you about that. So take care, and uh, talk to you soon. Bye.